All right, so you're going to open part three simple scene from the project panel. We're going to write this program from scratch using the TS app library and some images of your choosing. So find the create a window comment and add window equals TS app dot graphic windows dot com, which is right here. Before we create sprites, we need to find the images we want to use. Let's add a background and two characters. Open up the add image dialog from the project panel. And add two characters and one background. To match the solution, choose board cat and cat from the animals category on the left and cat room from the backgrounds tab along the top. So choose this add image and you are going to go to animals and you are going to choose cat and board cat. And this is so small I can't read it very well so you're going to have to bear with me. Cat Oops, there it was. Cat board and I have to do it again, add image, animals, just cat, and it was that one. And then one more, I have to choose the cat room, animals, backgrounds. Oh, come on. Um, cat room right there and add. All right. Now let me move that back out of the way. Um, okay. Now that these images are added, we, uh, sorry. Now that these images have been added to our project, we can create sprites from them to use them in our program. For the rest of this program, you'll need to add, or you'll need to decide what variable names you want to use for your sprites and adjust your code to match the file names of the images you chose. So after the create, there we go. After the create, two characters comment, which is um, okay, so right here, line 13, we're going to put in background equals TS app sprite. You need the image name, your XY coordinates, same with cat1 and cat2 sprites. Go ahead and get that in. Now that we have our sprites created, we still need to add them to our window or else we won't be able to see them. So after the add sprites comment, you are going to add this information. If you, whoops, if you need to, adjust names to match yours, please do so. We have to add the uh, background first because sprites are drawn in the order they are added. So this means that the background is in the back, then our first character is on top of that, and our second character is in the front. Let's adjust our sprites a little. I'm going to shrink 
cat one and rotate cat two. So after the adjust sprites comment, add cat one dot scale and cat two dot angle. And go ahead and run the program, which will end immediately. The program ends before we see anything because we haven't set up our main loop. After the main loop comment, you're going to add this. Now run the program to see the results. And you are going to have Floating City and Retro Tech instruction practices to do on your own.